yo, ladies and gentlemen, a brand new week begins, but the weekend never stops on this show. And that is why you, our loyal viewers, always stay glued to your television screens. That's right. Welcome to the show where we give you undiluted entertainment. Now, don't forget to pay attention to your mental health because self-care is how you take your power back. Mm -hmm. That's very correct. You don't have to control your thoughts. You just have to stop letting them control you. So sit tight as we take you on an amazing journey filled with music and interesting conversations, guys. Yes, right. You know how we do it. You know my name. My name is Catherine. Oui. But you all know me as Lady Cass, our real <laughs> hotness. Or uh, today's, today's vibe. Yeah, today's vibe. So let's leave Kit Kat out of it. <laughs> so we should not call you Mrs. Because you're Mrs. looking what? like... Uh, social studies As teacher. Well. No, 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 no. See, let me tell you guys something. Okay, shoot. So, mm -hmm. all right, let's hear I brought it. the Sunday school vibe from yesterday oh. to the show today. Oh. So it still vibes on another level. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Gary. Okay. Holy okay. Spirit vibe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, so my name is Amanda Dara. Today I'm feeling very, you know, rich. Even though it's just outside. <clears throat> you understand? But anyways, you can call me Queen AD today, because I'm feeling like a queen. Ah, ah. Yeah, that's right. Amanda, why, that's did, right. why did this guy? Now? I mean, the money is not <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's only <laughs> when they even gave me the dress. I said, this is the reason why people are in my DMs. Because as I'm looking like, even me, I want to beg myself. Am, it's a yeah, is Amanda, it, yeah, the money is there. It's, it's they, see, Amanda, they know yeah, what yeah, I see you. See the problem. Amanda, yeah, I see you. You do not see you are the ones that are the most broke. OK, ladies and gentlemen, this is Royal Highness, this planet. I go by the name King OJ. Yes, but you can call me OJ. That's what it is. Can we it call you what it is. is? Can we call you birthday man? Uh, you just want to slide like that. Uh, Everybody, uh, this man, OJ man, <laughs> <laughs> OJ Tell King. Them. What did they call them. you again? Um, yeah, boss. boss. The man you be. See, as we came to the show today, everybody ah. has been hailing him. All hmm. the men. Only men. Have, I don't know what he gave them, but we didn't get part of it at all. But anyways, on Saturday was King OJ's birthday. <laughs> Uh, let's, can we move on? No, we can't. No, but now we can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's talk about what we have in store for you guys. Yes, we've got a lot in store for you guys today. We'll be sharing with you what we got up to over the weekend. Yes, check out some trending entertainment stories. And of course, celebrity birthday shout outs. That's right. There'll also be Rewind, Man Crush Monday, and Social View will be brought to us by Lady Cat. Yes, yes. Switching things off in the second half, we will be showing gratitude on the Chew It Off segment. Taking the news recap in case you missed it, while on today's Daily Top 5, we will be talking about reasons why you may lack self-confidence. Mm. Yeah, looking forward to that one. On today's True Syndrome Monday, TSM, we'll be asking this question. If these three social media apps, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook, were shut down permanently, and you were given the opportunity to bring back one, Hmm. Which would it be and <laughs> why? That's we'll see you guys now. after this break. Think about it. Hey. Yes, sir. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to talk about what we got up to over the weekend. Hmm. I think birthday boy should do his own last. Um, the most interesting. Yes, so you should go last. We did not have birthday this weekend. We didn't have any birthday things. So uh, I'm going to go first. Please go first. <laughs> <laughs> so, Saturday was... Um, it was cool, it was fun. It was like a mini work day because I went to represent Lush Hair at um, Pulse Awards. Mm. So I went there and it was it was like a small thing, like maybe 80 to 80 people or 50 people there, you know. So I think a lot of it was virtual, but obviously they invited the nominees. Uh, we had loads to drink. Mm -hmm. And then people were just so hyped. Like, <laughs> the DJ was playing. Everybody would stand up like, eh. I was like, OK. Uh -huh. It's a bunch of influencers. Well, so it makes sense. <laughs> like, it was like a party in the afternoon. Uh, it was fun. I went to present some awards uh, to some people. And I think, uh, yes, yeah, so a couple of my friends won. Kiki won an award. Tim oh. won an award. It was nice. Hey. That's how I spent my whole day on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I said that uh, OJ is not going to catch me this week. You know, even if I cannot go there, drive there, I'm going to tune it. So, you know, so wow. all of this statement, you did didn't not go. even drive there. It, it's not about Amanda, driving. Was, no, it's Amanda. not about driving there. So it's the about listening to the word so the of God. The problem is, <laughs> that's not the Amanda we used to know. But I, I went to church. No. Hey. You attended wow. not that you went. OK. All right, I yeah. attended church <laughs> virtually. virtually. Uh, I, I just started from the beginning, right from praise and worship to the end. It was such a powerful sermon. 
Um, I was very happy. The truth of the matter is they are not even really lying. Uh, I kind of dropped it the way I was going to church. Like, that's the truth. But sometimes you have to look for that energy to pick up. And I think that that's what happened on Sunday. Uh, I found myself praying. I found Aww. myself, you know, getting back into that vibe. Speaking and, in and, yeah, speaking in <laughs> tongues and everything. Yeah, yeah. Really? Even, even though somebody was trying to drag me on my comment section over the weekend, saying that the way I'm dressing, am I really a Christian? Uh -uh. Do I really go to this church? I'm like, oh. They are formal. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. that was how I spent my Sunday morning. And then afterwards, I was just like chilling. Um, I was also at my spa. And then later on, a friend of mine was like, oh, we should go to the beach. So I was like, oh, yeah, let's go to the beach. So I we went to the beach in the evening. And I just stayed by the water. It was so relaxing. I really miss going to the beach. I think I've not said I've gone to the beach in a while. Amanda, you so, went like last two months. That's like, like I usually go like Amanda, every weekend. you want okay. to become beach girl? <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, oh, are you from that side? No, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> or you I just to, need the bonfire. I have to commune with my people. You just wow. need the bonfire. That's very interesting. So that was it. That was my weekend. How about you? Well, my weekend was family and rest field. Like mm. last week, OJ was telling me it's good to rest once in a while. So I decided to take a break because I wasn't feeling too good on Friday. So Saturday morning, my younger sister came home. She was mm -hmm. at my other sister's house and then we made Akara. Ooh. And it was it was really, really nice. It worked well. After making Akara, I said, okay, since I'm at home and my network service provider decided to just shut down, mm -hmm. like most of the day, let me just find something to do. So I washed my brushes, my makeup brushes. Mm -hmm. And if you see the love and attention I gave it, you think it was money I was counting. <laughs> yeah. So when I finished that, uh, I had a few house chores to do and then went to bed, just ran a few errands. The next day, Sunday, drove them to church, mm -hmm. Sunday school. My children were so excited. I don't know what they had to over the weekend <laughs> on Saturday. Everybody, hey, it's me. It's, I what do they, they call you? <laughs> Eh? Auntie! Oh, okay. I said, my name oh. is not Auntie. She's the Auntie. Auntie Mom, you see my Auntie? I said, okay. <laughs> so after church, went back home. Then my older sister wanted us to come and pick her and her son. So went to pick them. And then Wahala started. So my niece is always the one monopolizing my mom's phone. And then my nephew now loves phones to YouTube. So they started fighting <laughs> over the phone. Wow. And then I took them back home. We had family time and everything. And that was the end of my weekend. Okay. Good morning. Birthday mom. How was your weekend? The sad part Uncle is... Uncle Birdie. Eh, what, which sad? sad uh, uh, it's nothing sad. Is that I cannot remember everything that happened from Friday wow. night. Wow. Uh, I, just, so I, just, I just got so myself tons. proper um, Sunday morning. That was like 3 a.m. Wow. Yeah, Sunday morning, 3 a.m. Yeah, uh, yeah. Shout out to Sorry, what's, what's yeah? What's all that thing inside ah. in the middle of the year? So, so in the middle eh? of everything, I just eh. had the whole lot to do, mixed with the birthday. I had eh? stuff that I needed to clear. Mm. OJ cannot talk this thing on TV. At all. <laughs> you, you know, is that, that, is that, that is nonsense? Yeah. I went to a place of worship. I can eh? see that one on TV. You went yeah. on, okay, when was that? That's, that's a lie. Eh. But I got on that strike. <laughs> <laughs> So, it shocked uh, me. It, it was just a crazy weekend for me, up and down, celebrating oh, the you, birthday. Oh, you were friends? Yeah, celebrating the birthday. Uh, shout out to everybody. Uh, yeah, that sent in. Like, this, the gift's amazing. This is a gift from somebody to Woo! So it just got to a point Sorry, who is it from? Is it a woman is or a woman? lady? Hey, uh, is it so one of the shout babes? Out, shout, out, shout out to you that got me this. Who is it you who is now? You? The food, we're coming in. Some people say, I know this is your special. Where you day? Send address. Who sent you food? Uh, so, man or girl? The food, the drink. <laughs> he doesn't want to tell us. That's why I say everyone. The cake. Shout out to every one of you. Hey. Um, I just got myself um, Sunday morning. Decided to just, because I was still awake, then now watch the Tyson Fury match and uh, Jonathan oh. Wilder. Um, please beg, uh, you people should beg Anthony jo Joshua <laughs> not to fight Tyson it's Fury. Yeah, because for the third time, he beat Deontay Wilder. Uh, and not be just... Nah, OJ, we don't, nah, don't want to hear this thing. Uh, so hear so that, was, that, that, was when I, that, that was when I started. That was when my sanity now started. Now I came back. Started, did that, made my hair. Hmm. Then I now mm. knew that, oh, I'm supposed to come to work today. <laughs> oh, why? Oh, let why? Me, so OJ me. is trying to tell us that he blanked out on the most interesting part of the weekend. No, he had think, too much fun. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. If wow. you want to know, if you're on this table, go and mm -hmm. switch to... I 
Are you guys are just there sitting down about in your offices or yeah. wherever you are just wondering that what do these people do on Mondays? <laughs> <laughs> we have fun. That's all we do. <laughs> of course, on the hottest lunch hour show on Nigerian TV, as I said, so welcome back to Entertainment Splash. It is now time for the entertainment news. Now, first up, the law will take its course to Baba's management's response to Brymo's allegations. Now Music, the music management of veteran singer Tubaba has issued a public statement following fellow singer Brymo's reaction to being served pop papers over the allegation that he leveled against the veteran singer. This is coming after Brymo failed to apologize or even delete his social media post where he claimed that Tubaba accused him of sleeping with his wife and also arranged for him to be physically assaulted over claims to being the greatest. In a press release titled The Law Will Take Its Course, now Music described Brymo's allegations as baseless and malicious. The statement reads, and I'm quoting, Brymo's statement about ending Tubaba's reign is an opinion, maybe a wish. That's not something for us to bother about. If indeed a reign will end, it will be up to Tubaba and the fans. If it is Brymo that will ascend the throne, that would also be up to the fans. And of course, at least a dozen other incredibly talented and eminently qualified artists, most of whom clearly tick more of the relevant boxes than Brymo. But then again, it's every man's right to dream and aspire. The statement continues. What is unacceptable is making false and defamatory statements. Nothing can be farther from the truth than Brymo's statement. Those who know Innocent Dibia will struggle to situate him in the spurious scenarios in the incredulous narrative Brymo has contrived. Brymo will have an opportunity to substantiate his claims with proof in court, and if he fails to do that, the law will take his course fully. Tubaba would not dissipate energy engaging Brymo in media exchanges. Only a court of competent jurisdiction can serve justice to the innocent and enforce punitive actions against the guilty. Anything else is a circus and we are no clowns. No, we are not. First of all, that statement has a lot of plenty English, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> at least 10 or 15 ah. big words. Um, I'm not surprised that this statement is coming. I'm also not surprised that Brian Motu didn't take down the post on social media, are you? Because Friday, fr fr Friday was supposed to be the deadline Friday, Saturday, yeah. Yeah. and they dropped the statement uh, in the, during the weekend. Um, so that's like a one billion naira lawsuit yes. coming through. Uh, yeah, what Brymo said earlier was fine with me. Whatever I was saying or whatever I was putting out on social media, till the part whereby uh, they threatened with the lawsuit, mm -hmm. then I saw Brymo's post talking about Tubaba's reign being over. over that that Tubaba should become a farmer. That. Uh, that, that was where I just said, okay, you know what? Uh, Brian was not my guy, but whatever is happening right now is just for the courts to decide. Mm -hmm. But the crazy thing, because of courts, because of the law, are there proofs? Mm. Is there any that, proof? That, that's why they said he should bring out proof if um, he has any. Um, and if he doesn't? And if he doesn't, he should pay the one, one billion. billion naira. He should play with his full chest. Wow. Because at the end of the day, you came out with a very, very he heavy accusation, especially mm. with the fact that, uh, just as um, that Freeze and Dr. said, he's in the light of all the drama that has been happening in the EDBR family. And you're saying that, oh, you were accused of sleeping with Two-Face's wife. So that's a very heavy accusation to come online with and say that, oh, you were even like um, threatened, mm. some guys tried to yeah. beat you up and they everything. Beat him up. Yeah. him coming out to um, say, to Baba's reign is over, uh, is over uh, there's no godfatherism here. It's, it's just Brimo being Brimo. Just like how we have Burner being Burner. Yeah. Brimo was just being Brimo. Yeah. He, he has a huge chip on his shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, and that, that has been his character over time. So I'm not surprised he did that, even though it doesn't help his argument. It just makes him look like he has started to rant. And that was how we just didn't listen to Blackface when Blackface 2 was also coming out. <laughs> so I hope that there's no pattern with this, because yeah. at the end of the day, um, uh, the response as well was also, uh, that is from Two Faces um, team management, was also a bit insultive as well. Like, oh. No, the, this statement actually reads that if you are talking about throne, 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 it's the fans that will decide. And yeah. it's too bad that we'll decide that. I'm not Maybe gonna... insultive is not the word. It was also a bit like egocentric. Say, you know, like, yeah, you. yeah, that kind of thing. Especially <laughs> the end where they said it's not a circus and we're not clans, things like that. 
Yeah, because, well, because, the because on a good day, things yeah. like this, when you put your own mm -hmm. out, mm -hmm. the other party is supposed to put his own back out. And forth. So yeah. it's not be a back and forth. I yeah. love this approach, by the way. I love this approach. Well, it's, at it's the end of the day, uh, we'll just wait for Barrymore if he has evidence to bring out the evidence, because right now, that's the only thing that can save him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, <laughs> he's... It's does this one billion? Does this have to do with anything as regards Anadibia pulling down our Instagram page? Because I saw that one too. Yeah, there, she deactivated. Yeah, over the weekend she deactivated her Instagram account. Wow. I think there's there's just I, a I lot going on related. in the DBA family it's right possible. now. Okay. It's Let's possible. just hope all is well. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Moving to another story. So Chris Brown and Drake sued for copyright infringement over hate song. There seems to be legal trouble for American singer Chris Brown and Canadian rapper Drake as they're now being sued by an artist and producer who are claiming that they ripped off their song for their 2019 hit single, No Guidance. According to court documents obtained by TMZ, one Brandon Cooper, an artist, and Timothy Val Valentine, a producer, are claiming that Chris Brown and Drake ripped off their song, I Love Your Dress, in the lawsuit. They say that they dropped their record three years before No Guidance, claiming the beat, lyrics, hook, and rhythmic structure were copied from their song. They even pointed out that in No Guidance, both artists repeatedly sing, You got it, girl, you got it, while in their song, Mr. Cooper sings, She got it, she got it. Hence, they are suing for copyright infringement and damages. Take a look at both songs and compare. She got it, she got it. <laughs> She got it, she got it. You got it, girl, you got it. Little baby and I'm back and I'm back. Neither Chris Brown nor Drake have responded to claims that their collaboration was inspired by Mr. Cooper's record. This No Guidance song, which has already gone platinum, is featured on Chris Brown's night studio album, Indigo, while the official music video for Mr. Cooper's record was posted on YouTube in May 2019. You know, watching both videos and listening to both songs, I really do not see any similarities. The only similarity is they both use got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. I can't really see the lyrics and the tune and the way it was sung. They're like two totally different songs. Mm. So, so why, why I feel there's every possibility that this might be true is for every song. For every song that has been put out, there's one lamba that was tapped from one place. Yeah. yeah lamba is that vibe, those things that you just take. Um, so if you want to argue, um, Chris Brown and Drake, they just switched up the tempo, made it faster. Yeah. While Mr. Cooper's was on the was slower. slower tempo. Uh, listening to the, uh, the lyrics of the song itself, the Chris Brown, uh, Drake, No Guidance, <laughs> they, there was even a line that Chris Brown said in that yeah. particular song. Blue he from said, Coop. Yeah. Yeah. I took from Coop. Yeah, yeah. From so that's Blue Coop, the, ma the guy's name, Mr. Cooper. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's, actually, it's actually possible. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like he might not have a very good day in court because, uh, as you said... The court of law is very funny. There's no mm. news. Like, I don't think there's any new music, actually. I don't oh. even think, like, a, an artist like Beyonce can claim that all her songs original that's why, been, that's why she has been sued several times exactly and they paid so, yeah. even that mr cooper somebody from a 1942 artist now go and say that may i sound very you got it you got it you got it you got it that's it so at the end of the day <laughs> nothing is new so i don't know if he'll be able to fly with that because unless he kind of like put some copyright on that the song itself, on that song. um phrase yeah so because yeah yeah that is yeah, the only the thing phrase, that is similar the you got it so unless he did some kind of copyright or some kind of legal um you know, backing. backing for that line, then I don't think he has anything in common, especially when he's up against a Chris Brown and Drake. That's when he's even supposed to and win. win. Funny enough, that's when he's even supposed to win. Because huh. Drake and you? Chris Brown, especially Chris Brown, since it's Chris Brown's song, don't add Drake into this matter. Chris Brown don't want it to be messy and you not be going back and forth. Mm. He just set out of just court. Set okay, out of court. What do you want? Who okay, is I don't Mr. Cooper? Do you know him before? And that's why you give him, so that that's it doesn't become point. messy. Uh, I, ca I, can't, I can't put my hands on the actual figure that they want. It's massive. Mm. So be if you don't want to pay that massive thing, of which you might get into the court of law. It's very funny. But do it you might know, win. But do you know how many people have used the you got it, she got it line mm -hmm. in, in how many years? Yeah, but, and if you find out, maybe Mr. because they're not like, big artists. Maybe because they're not big artists. OJ, there's a song. You got it, you got it back. Yeah, that one it's in my back. head too. That one has back. You, eh? you got it, you got it back. Hey yeah, boy, you got it, you got it. <laughs> he used she got it, you got it. And they said, you got it, girl. They wanted girl. 
You said, so you, say, you, 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 you that you're listening to ah, yourself, you got it too. Uh, got everybody Cooper, got it. Mr. Cooper, come to Nigeria where people just <laughs> take people's lamba we can't and you shout, you shout, nothing will happen. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we can take on the entertainment news for today. It is now time for a 70 birthday shout out. First on our list in alphabetical order, we have Amita Bakan, who is 79 today. He is an Indian actor, film producer, television host, and a former politician. He is regarded as one of the most influential actors in the history of Indian cinema. He made appearances in movies such as Shole, Mardon, right. amongst Many, many others. Mm. Amita Bachan made me love Indian movies. Yeah. He was yeah. one OG. of the first set of people in Indian films that I watched. And mm -hmm. every time I wanted to watch an Indian film, if he wasn't in it, I'd be like, it's not, it's it's not Joe Adi. Because <laughs> <laughs> Baba will go from being solo, yeah. the elder yeah. giving the advice to action. I'm yeah. like, uh, yeah. that's, that's a legend Very right versatile, there, wow. that's very a dramatic. Right there. And yeah, absolutely love him. Happy birthday to him. We also have, uh, should I say our very old now, because now this becomes her. <laughs> but I'm talking about Cardi B, who is 29 today. All right, she's an American rapper, businesswoman, and internet celebrity who gained publicity due to her several videos going viral on social media. Some of her songs include Bodak Yellow, WAP, Up, Please Me, Money, Press, I Like It, and many, many, many others. And you guys know she's having a pasta pasta party yes. to celebrate her birthday. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the Cardi B voice. Cardi That's B. Cardi B. <laughs> Absolutely love her energy. Camera. Amazing. I, I love how she has been able to just, you know, make her stance in the music scene yeah. and just being true to herself as well. You can't. I, I don't think you can either hate or love Cardi B. And even when you hate her, you still love her. And when you're having a bad day, on our worst days, she's all about positivity. Happy That's birthday right. to her. We also have MC Light, who is 51 today. She is an American rapper, DJ, actress, and entrepreneur who gained fame in the late 1980s. She's considered one of the pioneers of female rap, and she's the first female solo rapper to release a full album with 1988's critically acclaimed Light as a Rock. Mm. Yes, the OG is right here. Uh, you, you can imagine Cardi B being a female rapper celebrating on the same day with MC Light. When you're talking nice. female rap, That's you have true. to give kudos to MC Light. She's been for a long, long time. We also have Spells, who is a year older today. He is a Nigerian recording producer who has worked with the likes of Burner Boy, Whiskey, Tewa Savage, Davido, Banky W, Nice, amongst mm. others. His production hits include Check and Balance by Burner Boy, Mommy Me by Whiskey, How Long by Davido, Keys to the City by Tewa Savage, and many, many others. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super talented producer, man. Yeah. Works with virtually everybody. Yeah, everybody. absolutely agree. Happy birthday to him. And of course, happy birthday to you out there that is celebrating. We didn't forget you. We hope you turn up True. safely. We hope that you appreciate life and we hope yeah. that you take care of yourself. Kisses mm. from me to you. Mwah. All right, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, up next, the rewind and of course, Man Crush Monday. Let's go. Let's rewind. On this day in 1975, Saturday Night Live, created by Lorne Michaels, premieres on NBC with George Carlin as host. In 1983, Can't Slow Down, second studio album by Leonel Richie, is released. Lastly, on this day in history, in 2006, U.S. sitcom 30 Rock starring Tina Frey alongside Alec Baldwin and Tracy Morgan first premieres on NBC in the United States. And that's it on Rewind. Watch this. It's Man Crush Monday, and today we are crushing on Odunlade Adikola. Odunlade Adekola is a popular Nigerian actor, filmmaker, producer, and director who was born and raised in Abeokuta, Ogun State. He began his acting career in 1996 as a jester in church, but came into limelight in 1999, where he starred in Bolaji Amuson, Mr. Latin movie Fawaraja. 
He, however, gained popularity and was widely known with his lead role in Ishala Drojae's 2003 blockbuster movie, Ashiri Gominowa. He has since then starred in other movies, some of which include Alani Kwamoleku, Oye Nusi, Sunday Dagboru. Samu Alajo, amongst others. Odunlade Adekola has not only been nominated for awards, he has also won some of which includes the City People Entertainment Awards, Best Actor for the Year 2009 and 2011, Best Actor in a Lead Role, Yoruba Movie Academy Awards 2012, Best Actor for the Year, Africa Movie Awards and City People Entertainment Awards, Best Actor of the Year, both in 2014, and the list goes on and on. The highlight of his career came when he bagged an award at the 6th edition of the Africa Magic Viewers' Choice Award, AMVCA, in 2018, for the Best Actor in Comedy TV Series category for his role in the Nollywood English movie, One Million Baby. A caterpillar inside boss. I never see that day where I carry your wife. Me and my boss don't go get fought. Not true. Despite being in the movie industry, Odilade Adekola is also a talented musician. He joined the music industry in 2015 and made some voiceover and also dropped some singles like Ojo Olorun, Omo Baba, and Arike. <laughs> He is the founder and CEO of Odunlade Adekola Film Production, OAFP, a production company that has produced some of the latest movies, which includes Adeda, Jaeoba, and Ikuni. Now, here are five things you might not know about Odunlade Adekola. Many think he's from Abeokuta, but actually, he is a native of Ekiti State. He is married with four children. He returned to school to bag a degree in business administration. Odunlade has starred, scripted, produced, and directed over 100 movies. Getting into acting, he was inspired by the likes of Taiwo Hassan, Adebayo Salami, but his most important influence was the late Ishola Drojaye, popularly known as Alasari. All these and more are reasons we like Odunlade Adekola, and he is our man crush today. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. It is Lil East Splash, baby. And mm -hmm. uh, you already know when you see us here, you know what it is. But before we go on with the dragon on social media, yes, sir. and I welcome you to Socialville, mm -hmm. we need to give a very special birthday shout out to someone very special. Today is Mr. Mr. Musa. Lukman Musa's birthday. Happy birthday. He's one of our bosses here at TVC, and he's an amazing person. I, tr I, tr I trust Mr. Musa to do the needful today. <laughs> like you didn't do, Abby? Because my turn will not pass, Mr. Musa. Uh, so uh, it's your, it's uh, your turn. Uh, huh? No, my turn will not pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm, ju you are. I'm just talking about Mr. Musa. You're the one that is in charge of the team. Oh, what's he waiting for? You're waiting for your own. Your own never really, pass. Yeah, do you want to go to where I went to? Not sure. Uh, we do don't want, mind. Do you, do you we don't mind. I want to know where you went to first of all. See, <laughs> OJ. We ah. don't mind. Amanda, <laughs> say no. OJ. We'll have this conversation <laughs> after social media. We'll drag you later. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's start with this one. Siblings will come for holiday and start acting like they're visitors. Time about. Where do you guys keep the glass cup? <laughs> on my head. We keep it on my head. <laughs> Ill deal. You know, this thing has happened to me before. <laughs> when I went to school and I came back, they had rearranged the house. Mm -hmm. So in my defense, it wasn't where I knew exactly. it used to be. No. Exactly. And my no. younger sister no. will now... Be, my younger sister is very good. You're supposed to go... Just look for it yourself. Mm. Why are you not... It's your house. It's beef. It's beef that's me. Where's your it's house? Beef. <laughs> what nonsense is that? Now, uh, now that she has gone to school, she now people, come home. Where do people used to keep the glass cup again? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know Tell me you never did it. It's part of growing up. You know where? No, Tell they, me you never they did, did it. They did it a lot. They, uh, they not yeah, you. Yeah. Everybody did it. Mm, okay. So, mom is saying, eat your food and stop smiling. And then the food is looking at you like, so what? now you know why the food is, why you smiling? <laughs> The food is looking like Naruto too. As he, you know, I, That's why he's smiling. Accurate. It actually looks like Naruto. Ah! Like, 
<laughs> we used to chow this kind of food. Ah, I'll just be laughing okay, with we'll, the food. No, we we'll eat the food. It's because they're sa they're sacking outside. They're not no. outside. <laughs> See, let me tell you, I'll put pepper sauce on it. Pepper Naruto. Stop it. It's not be like so... it's not be like TS yes, that Naruto. But I like that you took a picture. As <laughs> they <laughs> all right. I think today they are just serving looks. See this cat, seven looks. Let's find out what it's about. You say, when your girlfriend is arguing with a soldier, then you hear her say, my boyfriend is not even afraid of you. Hey, and this hey. the boyfriend looking like, did I hey, send you? Hey. Did I tell you I'm not afraid? <laughs> who? Who? At that because... point in time, who is that? Who is boyfriend? But what, <laughs> wait, wait. What's the soldier supposed to do? I'm, I, the guy's not afraid uh -huh. of the soldier. Oh, really? Yeah. Let him come up. And See, what, Amanda, and what, and what we uh, Amanda, uh, these are the kind of boyfriends that when the soldier says, where's your boyfriend? Say empty space. <laughs> <laughs> Dear boyfriend, you do not know your right. You should confront Wow. Is it oh, Nigerian oh, oh. soldier? Oh, finish Which it other now. kind of soldier? Okay. No, oh. OJ, finish the statement. You will do from it's jump I, for, joke for, for like oh, jump <laughs> <laughs> Ah, and our king of names is Ba. <laughs> Making an entry. Let's find out what he's thinking about. Reason. He said, my girlfriend told me she needs some space. When did I become her memory car? Hmm. Hmm. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Hmm. Don't tell don't him. him. Hmm. Don't tell him. Just... Hmm. Let's not tell him. Let's just leave him thinking and so move on. So we should on. not tell him. No, no. Yeah, let's leave no, him let's... like that. Yeah. Hmm. Let's move on. Question for the gods. <laughs> and see the girlfriend smiling here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this auntie is smiling about something. Let's find out. She say, benefit of being a short girl is that after giving birth, uh -huh. you can still wear your baby's clothes. To church. What's wow. mean of this? Wow. No, no, see, mate, okay, I will not I take this one. I want to get offended, but I just remember that I'm not yes, sure. Yes, 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 so yes, I'm average height. No, yes, no, I'm yes, average height, so I can't average. relate. Like, can you relate? No, I, I can't, can't relate. Okay, that's fine. I can't. All righty. <laughs> let's move on. What is this person is rude, <laughs> Let's move on. Before the, oh, hey. The way, when short people oh. find that person, the way they will drag you like a better person. What's the meaning of that? Amanda, you're taking this in pill. No, no. You know, as a TV presenter, you're a spokesperson for Oh, Everyone, people. you understand? Okay. That's it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rick Tanti, let's move on to this guy. This guy is up to something. In this part, is in shock. The other part is happy. Let's find out what happened. You say, people fighting in WhatsApp group. That's this first phase. The second phase, me saving new stickers. This is so <laughs> me. Hmm. This, when, is so, this is so. This is, this me is so you. This is so dupe. Ah, all, all you this people that is love so using. Dupe. Ah, yeah, dupe, one of the producers for the show. Yeah. Stickers. All you people that you have stickers for every everything. reply. Ah. everything. Like what? Is it that? It isn't easy. Is it like you just go on people's and just be stealing? Like, no. Is that See, like OJ, an occupation? Yes. we don't ask for it. They post, we save. And you save. You save. It's <laughs> your phone. You don't use it. So people don't talk normally anymore. Uh, it's sticker. <laughs> How you day? <laughs> you know, sit down down there. Uh, so anyway, I even have this one in my face. Where you, where they, you say, I have this one where I was laughing. I say, you funny die. My <laughs> office. So. Please, let's move on. <laughs> so this is a public service announcement. Listen, next time I take out a lady on a date, I'm inviting her ex. Mm -hmm. I need to hear both sides of the story. You ladies lie too much when you see food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Because of how much food? I'm, I, I'm like, a, ah, like, okay, ah, it's the, the good thing, what, what, I have, I have Amanda and Catherine. I, see, I have Amanda and Catherine food. right here. What does that uh, mean? Foodie, nah. foodie, is, it, is, it, is, it, is this true? No. <laughs> People don't like when you it's just see, first, when you just see that seafood. First, first so, of all, I'll be talking, mm -hmm. that, I will not even be talking, I'll be eating that. I'll be eating the food. That, that's not even true. And Are so, you asking so, me to so, so, side of the story? So, Amanda, tell, is me, the truth. tell me about we your past relationship. We don't lie. Tell me about your past relationship. This guy was a scum. Are, are yeah. you sure? That's it. <laughs> it wasn't you. you know, but here's the thing. It's not gender specific, if I'm not, being very honest. Yeah. Have, no, it's not. Tell me about your last relationship. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> Please. I don't have... In the spirit of silence, <laughs> let's move on. Let's... Mm. <laughs> Oje, it's like this one is for you, because okay. they are tiring us. They say, oh, more people, they tire me with a test. You say, how are you? I say, I'm fine. Hmm. I say, what about you? You say you're good. You say, and you? And you what? <laughs> not me, you ask me fair. I will not, I will not lie, I'm on this table. I'm on the table. <laughs> ah, I can ask how ah. are you. Especially when I don't know why you called me. So the how are you is changing, mm -hmm. like, context. So how are you? I'm good. How are you so doing? How now? I do. How are you doing? So, so, so how are you doing? Way? So, so, some people tend to see this thing as being rude or being awkward. I like when I need something from somebody. Yes, I'll just say hi mm -hmm. and how are you? Are you good? And straight just to the point. Go straight yes, to the point. better. But yes. some people just want to, so that it's not be as Especially a particular tribe. <laughs> Which one? Ah, oh, how are you? 
Where is everybody? Is that the accent? And your your mother uncle uh -huh. and your daddy uncle. What's your visit? Where is your work? Amanda. Where is your boyfriend? Oh, Abe. Oh, Amanda. Where is your life? Oh, eh. Ah. Is, 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 <laughs> Mr. Folabi. What? 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 I what? don't know. I was just ah. like representing. Me, I'm not there. <laughs> but what me I know is that. If you are going to say something, ask something, go straight to the point. Well, some people don't like that, see, straight to the point. See, no, straight to the point in the sense that, hey, how are you? I'm good. Can I? Be there? Okay. Would I? You get? Should I? You get 5K see, for see, the... See, when you start prolonging, <laughs> and I've not come in a long time, I just intentionally you. ask, what do you want? You get 5K for the... <laughs> you know, the economy is... Ah! <laughs> Me, yeah, I even used to ask. Everything to ask, choke, everything to ask, choke. I will even help you, please, what do you want? So, so what are you trying to say? I'll go see so, 5K for your hands. Oh, you know, it's straight. Yeah. All right, well, I've learned. All, All right. right. <laughs> so, hmm. This one is asking talking for about something. Sakpa. Stop talking about Sakpa. This is the last one that we have for you. Say, please, put stuff cost pieces. <laughs> if you are coming to visit me at home, come with two eggs that I will buy for you to eat with noodles. Mm. So don't expect to come to my house with nothing and you eat something. But I mean, if you can't afford two eggs, you can come with one. But, Mana, this, okay. this doesn't apply to you, no? To me? You be CEO now. Mm. Come and visit. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Guys. Because. Oh, well. Let me, <laughs> let me drink some food. Some people come to my spa and be drinking my clients' juice. Ah. My clients' biscuits. I'm not their client. They're clients come. too. Yeah. It's just but they're clients. It's just that they don't like, come to yeah. collect massage they, or anything. They have not come. My choice is a bit dry. I'm um, be going back. To <laughs> See, Amanda, they are future clients. They might not be clients. You know my juices. Clients. <laughs> They are future clients, so they are preparing for the future. I wonder. All right, guys. Thank you so much. It's a wrap on Social View for today. And the true team from Monday conversation kicks off pretty soon. In case you missed the question earlier, hmm, we asked, if these three social media apps, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook, were shut down permanently, hmm. and you were given the opportunity to bring back one, I mean, just one, which would it be and why? Mm. Think about Money. it. All right, guys, welcome back to your favorite lunch hour show, East Flash, baby. Mm -hmm. Now, so far, we've brought you over the weekend, the news, celebrity birthdays, Rewind, Man Crush Monday, and, of course, Social Bill, which was just filled with laughs. <laughs> it is now time to chew it off where one of us will talk about what he or she is currently grateful for because it is Gratitude Monday. Monday. Oh. Birthday month. Oh, it's me. Uh-uh. <laughs> I, like, I like the respect. Birthday mom. I see. So we learned something you new. Uh, so, uh, yeah, special shout out to everybody. Please, before you talk, I don't want to hear football. No, no, no. And before Boxing. you talk, mm. basketball. Mm. Okay, cool. Is it your gratitude? Before you go on, your hair is very nice. You look good. Thank you. Ah, okay. Never, never to be like cut off fresh. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> so what am I grateful for? Yeah, uh, grateful, um, yeah. I was a year older over the year. weekend uh, mm. again. Uh, so special shout out to everybody that reached out, sent gifts, calls, messages, and food, the mm. cakes and everything. Special shout out to you people. Yeah, uh, I'm still replying to everybody. So I appreciate you all for the love. Crazy, man. Even though you didn't give us birthday shoots, it's okay. Okay, mm -hmm. do you, what do you want? It's late Shoot. Already. I can still run it. I said bed day shoots. What bed are you shoots, shoot? Amanda. Like and you shoot. post in December. <laughs> We're done. It's over. No, don't, don't, don't love that part. <laughs> so, so special shout out to everybody that reached out, sent in messages on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Do I care if these platforms? <laughs> uh, yeah, you, <laughs> already, you, you already know. Uh, special <laughs> shout out to you guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, you deserve all the love. I, lo I, lo I love yeah. you guys. I love you guys. I mean, I mean, jokes aside, I think that you're an amazing person. True. Yes, in um, you are very hardworking, which is very, very extremely hardworking, very passionate about his job. Um, they're very fun to be with as well. You make the Oh, so ladies, like. show you are here. Yeah, yeah, but that's true. You can Whether sign into like my DM. Yeah. I can go, J. <laughs> K-I-N-G-H-O-J-Y. You also respect boundaries. That's very yeah. good. Yeah, I, I think that it's cool to see a guy that actually respects women. I, I don't think I've told you that before. Aww. But I see that you actually respect women and you treat women with equality. So that's really cool. You have my respect any day. So oh, I'm say, grateful for your life. Spring. And I hope that this new year, just like how you have learned to say thank you last oh, year God. and receive compliments, I hope that this new year you find love. Amen. Eh? Eh? <laughs> 
Yeah. I hope that this That's new the year, God already. you'll make plenty, plenty money. Amen. 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 I hope that many more doors will open. Amen. I hope Amen. that you would have so much breakthrough, financial breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough, Amen. career breakthrough, Amen. and everything good you wish yourself. Oh, so Amen. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Even Amanda has said it all. She has done the prayer, she has done everything. So let me just top it off with the cherry. Mm -hmm. OJ, you're a cool guy. Oh, sure. Oh, like you always say, never to be caught on fresh. Even that's though we right. have caught you on fresh many times. Because Damn. it's a stand. That's how stand that's that's how I do. do. So I wish you the very best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're far, you're far too kind. Mm. Mm. Uh, Can I? Yeah. Uh, give us uh, the uh, work. He's giving us the fresh hey. work. Hey. Hey. Go, OJ. Hey, hey. hey. I'm about to bounce. <laughs> do people still bounce these days when you're working? <laughs> like, that used to be a thing. Well, we're grown now, so we don't do all those. <laughs> Uh, so what did you just do? Uh, I, I, <laughs> but we've grown. I thought I was, yeah. Oh, oh my back. goodness. <laughs> there was a cut on camera. Wow. All right. Moving away from all <laughs> that happiness, that is King OJ's birthday over the weekend. Here's a quick recap of what we talked about in the news earlier. Now, we told you that uh, the law will take its course according to two Baba's management who responds to Brymo's allegation. And we also told you that Chris Brown and Drake sued for copyright infringement over his hit song. Mm. So many infringements <laughs> and so many court cases. Anyways, guys, Daily Top 5 is up next, so keep it locked. All right, welcome back to the show, people. You've not missed so much, but you've missed quite a lot, mm -hmm. I must say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you should know that learning self-confidence is absolutely key to maximizing your potential. The most important thing to note about low self-confidence is that it is not your fault. The factors that contribute to low self-confidence combine and interact differently for each person. Your genes, cultural background, childhood experiences, and other life circumstances all play a role. But don't lose heart, though. We can't change the experiences in our past that shaped us. There is plenty we can do to alter our thoughts and expectations to gain more confidence. So, guys, here are five reasons why you may lack self-confidence. This is Daily Top 5. Four, three, two, one, watch me. So the first step is you build your confidence from the outside. Your self-confidence is built on your looks and material possessions. Once you're lacking in any of these areas, you start to feel less confident. For you to build lasting confidence, you have to start focusing more on who you are on the inside. That's right. Um, I think that this is very, very important for you to actually observe about yourself. Like, when you feel confident, is it because, like, you're dressed? I don't wear designers. Exactly. Oh, I, I now have this really nice outfit on. Mm -hmm. I've done my hair. I've done my makeup. So, like, I'm one of those ladies. Oh, I can call myself a lady now. So, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, moving on. I'm one of those ladies that I feel comfortable without makeup. You know, I can go out without makeup and I don't see anything wrong. And then some people be like, oh, you're always going out without makeup because, because like, my what? Nothing's yeah. wrong with my face. <laughs> you know, so, like, I feel like you have to build it from the inside. In as much as, yes, it is nice to look good and they outside, say yeah. dress as you want to be addressed. But it doesn't mean that if you don't have all those things, you know, when you end up putting up all these things as walls around you, when somebody removes it, then you really don't have any character inside. Very true. Yeah. Very, very, very valid. All right. The second thing to observe, whether you have low self-consciousness or not, is you haven't healed your inner child. Mm. Now, all the abusive words and negative experience you went through as a child have taken a toll on you. For you to become confident, you must confront your past and heal yourself from those negative experiences. This is, <clears throat> this is, this is, this is yeah. fact, very valid. Because we've seen a whole lot of people growing up. That's why people always tend to say, Mind out what you say to kids yeah. because you never can tell, especially schools, teachers. Yeah, what you uh, say around Yeah, them. when you tell them, like yes. you, oh, Ludo, you can never be yeah. anything yeah. in the future. Yeah, you never can tell that that person would just still be taking that thing, even growing up, like, oh, yeah, I thought, ah, my teacher said I can never. So, any little do that happen. Ah. My teacher Kuku said mm -hmm. it too, that I can mm -hmm. never amount to anything in future. Very true. Yeah. So That's why nowadays on social media we see people come out things. and say, that teacher that said I will not make it, I yeah. made it. Because <laughs> they've been able to overcome all those yes. negative opinions. And some people, those negative opinions was part of what drove them to become yeah. better people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But people are not the same and people take things in different ways. Mm -hmm. So be careful how you talk to people because you don't know what they've been through and mm -hmm. yeah. you might just 
trigger something that they've tried to oh, bury a long time And ago. if you were the kind of child or person that, you know, heard a lot of negative things about mm -hmm. yourself from your family, your friends, your teachers, I think, as they said, uh, you have to heal from it. Yes. You have to forgive those right. people. You have to realize that you are not what people say See. you oh. are. You can actually go the spiritual way and say, I am what God says I am. Yeah. Oh, and say. he says, you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. Of you know, so give yourself that positive affirmations every day. Speak to yourself. Talk about how you're the best. You're beautiful. You're shining. You know, th those kind of things. It just uplifts you and it makes you even look better. Yeah. Amanda, Amanda this is exactly what, what I miss from you on Mondays. Aww. Because back in the... No, yeah. <laughs> Before, when you come on Mondays, when you just come from church, I'm not just be giving you the. So this one that you Very just spirit. did, you just did virtual yesterday. You are the salt of the world. Hey! The... She told me she was speaking in tongues. Hey! The spirit is there. Okay, people like Amanda will make me laugh when they are speaking in tongues. The same way, the same ah! way for Ladile is doing it. I'm like. <laughs> The, the Lord be wow. with you. Okay, <laughs> thank you, King OJ. Please, let's move on. Let's just move on. So the next step is you give in to negative opinions. Once you start believing and defining yourself by people's negative assumptions and opinions about you, then your self-confidence is affected. You must learn to separate who you are from what people have to say about you. That's true. Right. And this is uh, the fact, this is the point where you need to have an opinion for yourself mm -hmm. and see yourself in a certain way because yeah. the moment you begin to see yourself in a positive light, there's nothing anybody would say mm -hmm. that would change that fact. So the change begins with you. But mm. when you're one of those people that, ah, what would people say? What would people mm. say? You won't go anywhere. Yeah, Trust sure. me. Mm. Your confidence level will keep going down. No matter how much you bring it up, it will keep going down. All right. Another thing to ask yourself is, do you compare yourself with others? Mm. Hmm. The moment you start comparing yourself with others, you start to feel like you're not good enough. Learn to admire people without comparing yourself with them. Social media. Yeah. Oh. They, pray, they pray yo. <laughs> As they run your race, so. so it, it's actually, even if you're not the type to compare, mm -hmm. and again, this can even go back to your background. Very Sometimes true. you even grow up and they're comparing your siblings. Uh, yeah, oh, true, look at what true, your sibling true, did. True, true. Oh, you're comparing your school. Oh, this person has first. Very you, true. you, you, you. you it's not Does he have two heads? Yeah. You know, that, I think that statement, I think it should be removed from every Nigerian parent's mouth. Very true. The person did not get to it, but me said, I'm okay. Like, I was the <laughs> When I was like you, I was the I one was that first. was carry All the, of the you were Everybody carry first. The, the person that carry first, they have two heads. So that comparison is a thing mm. and I think that when you actually run your own race people will yeah. actually identify you for who you are but if you're trying to copy someone else you'll always be a knockoff yeah yes, so all you have to do is just celebrate other people and do your own thing mm -hmm. and you're good to go mm -hmm. so next up you should know that you rely on external validation that is one problem hmm. you depend on compliments and other forms of external validation to feel good about yourself once you're not being validated your self-confidence is gone so for you to become confident, you must learn to see your own worth and validate yourself. And this is still talking about what would people say. Mm. If you're always thinking about what people say, what people think about things, it is fine. See, I'm not saying it's not fine to ask for people's opinion on matters because you can only see what you see. People see you. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when you get their opinions, look at it and look at what you need to work on. You shouldn't always seek other people's validation. Yeah. But it's when you true. can validate yourself, you have a mind of your own and you'll be creative enough to work on something. But if you always seek people's validation, you would not be able to create anything. Your creativity level will go down. Mm. Very mm. true. Mm. Mm. All right, ladies mm. and gentlemen, there you have it. Don't say we'd not teach you people anything. I mean, we really yes. taught them. <laughs> yes, sir. Daily Top 5, we're done with it. Up next is True Syndrome Monday, so keep it locked. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's now time for True Syndrome Monday. Yes, time to right. share with each other the truth and nothing but the truth. In line with what happened last week with the global shutdown of some media apps, today we are asking if these three social media apps WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook were shut down permanently, and we're given the opportunity to bring back one, just one. Which would it be, and <laughs> why? <laughs> um, WhatsApp. Really? Yeah, WhatsApp. Uh, the fact whereby... Okay, that like you bring back... Yeah, yeah bring yeah, back, yeah, yeah, obviously. And Twitter. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Nah, and, I thought you wanted to say. And Twitter. Uh, okay, yeah, WhatsApp. Uh, yeah, WhatsApp. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, there's just something about that, part, that particular app. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe because people really need to have your number before they can be able to yeah, call yeah. you. Uh, the fact that you can even video call, you can 
just have like a normal phone call mm -hmm. via, via, via the app. Mm -hmm. You can also chat. Mm -hmm. You can have more than two calls because I've been doing that lately with siblings. Yeah, yeah. Group, yeah. yeah group, group group call, call. video call. I, I think that app will be the one that I would love to bring back um, in case. Uh, because Instagram, no, because Instagram is hmm. the pressure with Instagram <laughs> on its own. Yeah, I see all of a sudden that when Instagram went, when these three apps went, people were like, oh, earning living, mm -hmm. they go and look for other means of this thing. Some people are saying, oh, now that that app was shut down for a few time, for a few hours, I was able to do other things with my life. Mm -hmm. What that particular app does to people, I do not know. But shout out to you people that love it. I love it too. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> uh, Facebook. Yeah, we, we, we tend to say this thing that Facebook is for old people. That's not true. No, That's not it's true. Not. It's just that Facebook has grown more than what we used to in mm -hmm. those days. But if I'm to bring one back out of those three, it has to be WhatsApp because of the main things I can do with it. It has to be WhatsApp. Mm, okay, for me, Because I I'm not posting any picture that I will not be doing. Yeah, you will not be looking for likes and views and you. this thing. Yeah, for me, I will probably bring back Instagram. Oh, she yeah. influencer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, simply because in as much as I will miss like my family and friends, I think I can go visit them. <laughs> I can call them. I can use other platforms to call them as well. Um, but I'm not really making money off WhatsApp. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, if I'm going to think like a businesswoman, I'm going to think of Instagram because uh, Instagram especially has been like a tool for yes. a lot of business owners. Yes. You can publicize, you can advertise, you can reach new audience, you can, um, people have been able to build big businesses mm -hmm. from it. People have been brands. able to very build true. big, names. very big names and big brands that have in, in turn made them make money. So mm -hmm. for me, I'll probably want to bring back Instagram things because putting food on my table. Oh, sure. uh, oh. And then it kind of, because now WhatsApp used to be private, but I see that you know, nowadays, gone are the days where someone says, can I get your number? I say, no. <laughs> now it now looks like, what kind of shakara are you doing? You know, so you end up giving your number to people you don't need to give it to. Yeah. And then it's now losing uh, the privacy. The privacy that you used to have before. Yeah, yeah so I'll probably bring back Instagram. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I'm talking between WhatsApp and Instagram. But I use WhatsApp more than I use Instagram. And I would go with WhatsApp because WhatsApp is the best way for me to connect with people, my people. And I even know some people that are not on Instagram. I don't know why they don't like Instagram. The so, if I, so if I bring Instagram back, how would I contact them? Or how would they contact me? Mm -hmm. So WhatsApp is like what everyone uses. Even people I know that are in countries that do not, that does not allow WhatsApp, mm -hmm. they use VPN because they know everyone is on WhatsApp mm -hmm. and that's why you can reach Certain people, yeah. especially people you're Everywhere. close to, mm. and Everywhere. the privacy, everything. So I, even what you said about someone getting your number, and if you don't want to respond, you would leave it. I know someone that are WhatsApp. If one notification enters today, you see two thousand and something messages on from two hundred and something <laughs> chats. On red. She said it's either you block them or you ignore. Yeah. Mm. So she just mutes them. Mm. So it's about what you want, mm -hmm. and yes, your point for Instagram is valid, business and all. But when you're the type of person that is very private and prefers a yeah. private space, then you'd prefer WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just shocking that nobody talked about Facebook. Hey, God. <laughs> no, see, Facebook I, is on I, another I, level I on its own. I the Facebook market. Maybe yeah. that's why. But I think that if you are doing stuff on Facebook, you probably mm -hmm. want to bring it back. I know people that have made lots of money on Facebook, on Facebook. that have big businesses yeah. mm -hmm. on Facebook. All right, guys, there you have it with our own responses. When we come back from this break, we'll also love to hear your reactions to our TSM question. The phone lines will be open. We'll also be taking your Facebook messages. We are TVC Connect using the hashtag e Splash on TVC. In the meantime, let's see what people out there had to say. TSM, it's Truth Syndrome Monday. Okay, yeah, I'll bring back Instagram because it's a very it's a very good platform which you can explore yourself. You can get to meet new people and all. And there you can get to see your celebrities, your loved ones, you understand. So I feel like the app is just useful for everyone. Like everything you need is on Instagram. Business, partners, promotion, brand influencers, everybody's there. WhatsApp is more, more centralized for business than those other apps. Because Instagram is more lively and it's mainly good for like content creators. We'll be able to see other people, but WhatsApp 
you know WhatsApp is like private now, but Instagram we can get to meet plenty of people and uh, people that we don't know and be able to share what we are doing and other people can get to see our talents and how we share our stories. I think I'd have to bring back uh, WhatsApp just because you use it to communicate with people um, all the time. You can update your WhatsApp stories, see other people's WhatsApp stories, and it's just very user friendly. It's not as data intensive as the other social media platform. Um, Instagram, you can basically you can basically do um, everything, plus add videos and everything. And most people carry content from Instagram to like other content, like other um, platforms like WhatsApp, Facebook. It's so most creators are like mostly on Instagram. People tend to see Instagram as an app for the rich or for celeb. So. Basically, if I, have to, if I have to choose between both, I will come back. I will choose between Facebook and WhatsApp. Instagram has helped a lot of people. There are a lot of people that are celebrities today. If they stop Instagram now or Facebook, they are nowhere. So they will let, we then start going to be putting it on WhatsApp, so Instagram. I will prefer WhatsApp because, one, you can have a lot of groups on WhatsApp that you can create to grow your business. Then if there are things you want to advertise, WhatsApp. Because I have a lot of families and friends on WhatsApp. That's why I communicate to them often. I would naturally bring up Facebook. And why I'm bringing back Facebook is that um, Facebook has a wider audience. Yeah, there's a wider reach. And I think it's monetizing recently. I post my dance videos on Instagram. I'm also a fashion stylist. So when I make new designs, I can post it online, even promote it on Instagram. And I'll, I'll, I'll get people that will be interested in my in my stove. WhatsApp, because a lot of my businesses, I do it on WhatsApp. Okay. Even in my church, we communicate through WhatsApp, so we have to bring back WhatsApp. Instagram is like, I don't know how to put it to boy. Instagram, it helps us, uh, it, makes us, it makes us feel less busy, you understand? But WhatsApp, WhatsApp is for people that have problems. TSM, it's Truth Syndrome Monday. Ah, who is wow. that bro? Wow. He said WhatsApp is for people that have problems. We don't have problems problem over that. here. So it's funny, it's, ah. it's funny how we've put, <laughs> we've, we've pushed on some certain apps mm -hmm. to some particular people. Like this <laughs> guy you. said WhatsApp is for people that have problems. <laughs> uh, I heard Instagram. somebody that said rich Instagram people. is for rich people. <laughs> Because whatever you see people post on hey, Instagram, they don't, po they don't post their they will Photoshop everything and ah, do ah, crazy, man. Oh, wow. It's calling putting your best self out there. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In case you're watching, it's True Syndrome Monday. And we're asking these questions. Uh, this question, if these three social media apps, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook, were shut down permanently, and you were given the opportunity to bring back one, which would it be and why? Lots of reactions right here mm -hmm. on Facebook. All right, so we have from Balogun Babatunde. He says, hello, gang. If all this social media gets shut down, it really affects a lot of people all around the world. I will bring back Instagram and only that because it's mostly people, it's mostly where people earn their daily income, content creators, and more. Happy birthday in areas, King OJ. We celebrate you, G. Yes, sir. All right, Sugar Pearly saying good day, my lovely people, and happy birthday to King OJ in areas. Thank you very it's much. It's WhatsApp, please, because of his privacy <laughs> settings, video, and voice calls. Very interactive, even for the elderly. Mm. Mm. So I have a prayer Ise, who says, I'd like to revive Facebook, because me and Zuckerberg created that app in your <laughs> dream. <laughs> OJ, boss, my account number is in your DM. Bro, you're supposed to call in your account number. That is something, give him. Now, uh, he's, he's the one celebrating, and not you. Thank you very much. Uh, so we have uh, Callistus Parker, who says, now Facebook be the cocoa with direct information from the internet. And it's also connected to WhatsApp and Instagram, too. Happy belated yeah. birthday once again to King OJ from Mr. Kali. Hey, mm. Thank you Ojin, very much. Uh, still on Facebook right here. Thank you very much. Um, Philip Thomas Ayola JW says Facebook. AY Victor is saying none. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I, that person doesn't even like social media <laughs> at all. Uh, if I, Adiko is saying Facebook. Olua Damilola is saying Facebook. Nosa Fidelis Aseno Guan is saying Facebook. Uh, Godwin G. Rocks Oga says Facebook. Oh, because that's where I Taunts Chelsea Football Club when they lose. <laughs> God, God, not, wow. be, not be a fire. I read your message now. <laughs> 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 All right, so Bay Lumart uh, Awilewa says, I prefer WhatsApp because it gives me my privacy. You can't chat me if you don't have my number, unlike Facebook and Instagram. 
Happy birthday, Naria Sikingo J. Thank you. Lady Ladies looking pang also. Mm. All right, so Precious, Precious is saying, Kingo J, happy birthday, Naria Zo. Thank you. All do give away now. Oh, she. Uh -huh. Norms, now, person we never experienced Sapa go won't make Instagram come back. Ah, ah. <laughs> What's up still <laughs> better, Sha? Above all, now, Facebook. I will only choose Instagram or WhatsApp when they start allowing us to use free mood. Wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> so he's choosing Facebook. Mm -hmm. Because of the free mood. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Daniel Abayami says, Good day, my people. Happy belated birthday, King OJ. I think I'll actually bring back Facebook. Why? Because that's the one I'm acquainted with right now. And aside that I make little, little money out of it. So I'll actually bring back Facebook if I have that veto power, LOL. Mm. As far as e splash on TVC, I said King OJ do give away. Ah, OJ, you're not an hashtag. Do give away. Wow. Let's, let's, All right, go, guys. let's go on a quick break. What? Let's go on a quick break. We'll be back. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Welcome back to the show. Yes, we are still asking this question on our Truth Syndrome Monday. If these three social media apps, that is WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook, were shut down permanently and you were given the opportunity to bring back one, which would it be and why? And it's been mixed reactions, which mm -hmm. we don't usually have. Mm -hmm. So still on Facebook, um, Zacharos Oladipupo is saying, what's up? Definitely. Precious Paul is saying, hi, guys. It's Facebook for me. At least I can use free mood. And Said Sadiq is saying, what's up, Abeg? <laughs> they said, happy birthday to the king of East Flash. Thank mm. you very much. Mm, nice. I'm still on Facebook. Nali G. Fortex is saying, obviously, Facebook, data free. I can chat with everyone when I'm out of data self. Less stress, hashtag a splash on TVC. Mm. Abiha is saying Facebook because it's easy to have an account of your own. But IG, that's Instagram and WhatsApp, you need to have your own phone. Hashtag e splash on TVC. Mm. I don't understand what that means. That point. Because mm. Facebook, you need to have your... Yeah. I don't, I okay. don't get... Okay. Or even on Instagram, you can use a system or something. You don't need to have a phone. Yeah. Even your WhatsApp, can you use WhatsApp phone? Yeah. Right? Ah, everything is digital now. Please, mm -hmm. oh, update yourself. <laughs> Flawless Blade says, Facebook, because it's currently the social networking app I use the most. And Instagram has a lot of similarities with Facebook now. So Instagram disappearing won't be a huge problem. WhatsApp can vanish for all I care. The unnecessary app. Wow. Flawless. Flawless oh, You're not flawless. <laughs> Do, are you inside any group in your, your family maybe group that they're disturbing in your Maybe life? he's in a million and one groups on WhatsApp. Yeah. Uh, so he has to run. Uh, so so the, pr the problem I, ha I have with that WhatsApp is unnecessary groups that people yeah. just oh, create. Oh, so many, many, many groups. You. Ah, yeah. 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 That can be annoying at times. Okay. You, just, you just know that your phone is just beeping, beeping, beeping. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the problem? Then you just open it and see. Mm -hmm. ah, one group. What is this group? Who what are these me? people? I know, right? Crazy, man. Okay, I think we have just a few messages left. I yeah. think this is from Mudupe Ojo. He says, I'll bring back WhatsApp because I use it more than any of these three apps. Uh, Chioma Jessica is saying, I'll surely bring back Facebook because it's the center of social media handles. Who said that? And Samuel is saying, Bonsoir, y'all. Kat be looking like my wow. social studies teacher back then. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's only wow. AJ that's allowed to say that. <laughs> well, <laughs> Facebook because of the origin of everything. We have WhatsApp from Facebook, Instagram from Facebook. We can do VNs and watch videos, view statuses, and it saves data than the Instagram app. Hmm. All, All right. right, we have a call on the line. Abigail, what's good? Abigail, we have picked your call. Hello. Hi, Abigail. Hi. Yeah. How y'all doing? You guys look great. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, OJ, happy birthday now, yeah. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. if you have the opportunity uh, to bring back one app, which would it be? Oh. <gasps> Girl. But she called to say happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy girl, from Amanda to you, Amanda will send you a time. Wow. 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 Yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Even me, I'm crazy. <laughs> like, what's Amanda? No, you yeah, yeah, they see you. Uh, okay, uh, let me go back to the birthday, man. Olu Arem Leku Comfort Salami Sholaja says, Good day, my people. What's I'll up? only bring back WhatsApp and happy belated birthday to King OJ. Long life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So sweet. So, so, so sweet. Wow. So talk, talk about Facebook, Instagram. Uh, yeah, we know, we know we, there are a whole lot of the peer pressure from Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you just go to your explore page, you just see some pictures and you'll be like... Mm. There's a lot of peer pressure, no lies. What am no I doing with my life? So that person saying that, uh, that, that Instagram is for rich people, 
I definitely, I definitely get it. I, I understand yeah. what you're oh saying. Oh, my goodness. I think we have Jeremiah on the line. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So tell us, which app are you going to save? Hello? I'll bring back Facebook. Why? Why? Facebook. Why? Facebook. Why? Because I'll meet a lot of friends there, and I have a lot of friends there also. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have friends on other platforms? I have, but Facebook is more popular and richer than other apps. Wow. Wow. How, how, how wow. old are you, by the way? Sir? How old are you, by the way? I'm 14. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Hmm. 14. Okay. All right. Thank, right. You. Mm. thank you. Thank you. For All right. Thank you for calling, Jeremiah. Mm. Thank Amanda, you so much. Amanda, what's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Amanda, are you singing? <laughs> Which of the apps are you? <laughs> <laughs> but at the, at the end of the day, we all kind of did it. I mean, mm. if you really talk about when we joined social media, but at the same I time, to go. please go and read your book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's leave it like that. All right, guys, we have to go on a quick break. We'll be right back. And then, of course, we'll wrap up the show. Uh, hey, Chimun. Oh, wow. Love wow. it. Ms. V and Tiwa Savage right there. It's a brand new one. Yes, right? sir. It, yes, is. it is looking very nice. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we have a very special package. Uh, that we want someone in particular to watch. And that yeah, person goes yeah. by the name of Kingo J. So let us have it. My name is OJ, but you can call me OJ. That's where it is. It is what it is. Shout out to all the Muslim brothers and that sisters that came through for, for you. For coming through, man. Yo, Arika even stole my own. Oh. She now recorded me begging for my own meat. <laughs> she stole it and locked it inside her car. This is defamation of character Sue on me. live TV. I'm going to get in touch with my lawyers <laughs> and they're going to serve you. Like, I'm, I'm actually going to serve you to court. Sue Right now, guys, a lot of people saw that video. A lot of people saw that video. Did it look like it was OJ's meat? OJ even called me mommy. It better not be a criminal court because they don't attend to matters of salamis between lovers. Next. <laughs> it's time for the entertainment news. Yes, it's time for Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check out all the craziness happening on social media on this very day. Are you guys ready for this one? Yes, yes we, we are. are. Ready. Gang, gang, gang. Well, girl, right now, I'm tired. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. I'm tired. I just want to leave. I don't have direction. I don't have focus. <laughs> Yes, but is that? You want to? Okay. Oh, Polani doesn't have to do this. I do. Eh? I do it. Oh, yeah. Eh? 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 Hey, are you funny? Is there a dance I cannot do? You are ashamed of yourself for saying yeah, yeah, it. I don't know what. Do like a Jesse. Do like a Jesse. Move up. Move up. Move up. All right. All right. Fill in my love. Fill in my love. Now push it by my sweet baby. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, OJ. OJ. Eh? Eh? Hey, OJ. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Shellfish time. Happy birthday. Anyway, happy birthday to you, Gink OJ. I go by the name King OJ, but you could call me OJ. A G, man. Just keep being a, a real G. You're the man. Happy birthday to you, OJ. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for being an amazing team player. Happy birthday to you. Go no! Go no! Where we turning up? Go no! Go no today! Wait till they really are cool. Wait till they really are cool, bro. <laughs> of course, after that package, yes. you also have a, a little bit of a surprise. Okay. Surprise! Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you! Happy birthday! 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 Happy birth
Hey. What is what is all this? <laughs> this one. Check out the kid first. What is all this? What is all this? What? Have romance. Have romance. Let me just sit down. Yeah. Arika, baby, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, you look good. Join us. Join us. Now they stress me, oh. Uh, Happy guy. birthday. Don't we don't we don't open Kata with the tear because tear because, tear because, because we want chop and streets. We want chop and streets. Wow. Happy birthday. I'm a king, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday, you are. Like you already know. <laughs> don't for, forgive him. He, uh, he does not know how to answer. Yeah. So we know the we know the <laughs> and oh. mm. are you not supposed to be on set? Yes, I'm supposed to be on set. <laughs> <laughs> I know I cannot open this don't, thing because... Don't open it yet. Don't open it yet. We're not sure what Tarika has <laughs> It's a special no, package. No, 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 no. For happy birthday. For happy birthday. Thank you Happy birthday to you, OJ. With all the long story I wrote, you said, Mumi, <laughs> no hat emoji, no kiss. Ah, nothing. No, no, OJ. Yeah, but I put, I he commented, Mumi, then smiley, smiley, smiley. What happened to her? What but, you, but, but you already know. What, what, what does she know? You already know. That's, what do you know? This is your th perfect th chance. Thank you very much. Aww. How about that? Oh my <laughs> God. Oh, thank so you very much, much love, everybody. Yeah. Thank you for the love. It's still crazy. People yeah. are still sending the messages. And yeah, so. It was on Saturday and on Monday. All of this is still happening. Thank you to everybody on my team. You're welcome. Oni Pot, Ibuku, Amanda, Lady Cat, Dala, Dupe, Foladele that has gone, Arike that has gone, that is supposed to be busy working, but she's here. Okpe, Oni Pot, Chichi, everybody. Massive shout out to all of you. And I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. We love y'all too. No, that's it. No, 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 no,